I remember one time with Grandmaster Aksha in our training out in the Himalayas, he was speaking about how nobody really has the qualification to be a judge, yet at the same time, everybody judges. Everybody uh, has their opinions and perspective of how people should be, how they shouldn't dress, or how they shouldn't look, or what they shouldn't do. And uh, we are so much accustomed and uh, impacted and influenced with the way people think, other people's opinions. And it's very interesting because other people's limitations become our limitations because as we always say, our tribe is our vibe and we become the energy that is around us, that surrounds us. So it's very important to know how to protect our energies. And sometimes when we're going through this spiritual awakening journey, we need to remember that elevation requires separation. If we continue to allow ourselves to be consumed by these energies, or we can say almost limited energies because of the limited pre-programming from society of their upbringing, then is all layered on top of what we become. Because essentially when we come into this earth, we are this ball of light who this child, this baby that laughs without any uh, reasoning and smiles without any reasoning. This, there's dream and there's wonder. You see these wondering eyes of a baby having a wonderful time and somewhere down the line these layers of conformation of other people's beliefs based on their experiences start layering on top of us and we almost like trapped in this cocoon and uh, this self-actualization or realization is once we allow ourselves to shed the layers. But on this journey of shedding the layers, if we are still allowing other people's opinions of us to become our reality, then it becomes a problem. So it's time to know how to switch this off. Stay focused on oneself, who you truly are. Listen to your inner calling, that inner voice. Be able to follow that heart and continuously take action without worrying about whether people approve or disapprove of you. Because at the end of the day, you get this chance of life in this physical reality one time. And you got to live it to the fullest based on who you truly are to fulfill your dharma, your biggest destiny.